Welcome to Edunation Avenue. Hi everyone. In this video I'll be showing you how to download and install Dev C++. So just go to Google and type Dev C++ download and you'll be getting the first link as Dev C++ download from SourceForge. Just click that and you'll be having the download option here and here you can see right it has about 80,000 downloads this week so it's absolutely trustable. So once you are in just click on this green color download icon click that and your download will be getting started and here you can see it is about 48 MB in size. So just be patient and once the download is complete just double click it and just click on yes and it will take some time for the setup to load. Yeah, and you need to select the language. So let me just go to a new screen and go here. Yeah, just have the language. I will go with English. Okay, and you can just read the agreement. No one reads in general. So I will just click on I agree. And these are the things that are going to get installed. So make sure that you are checking the compiler. Okay, if you uncheck the compiler, you cannot run anything. So make sure that you have done added this and it's fine. You can just leave the last one unchecked. After this, just click on next. This is the default location. It will be uh, getting installed. So I will just go and click browse and change the location. Yeah, I have just changed my location. I will just click on install now and the installation process will begin. Yeah, so once the installation is complete, you can just check this run dev C++ and you can just click on finish. And it will ask you to select the language. We have these many languages available. I will go with English, the only language that I know in this list. I'll just click on next and this is the font that you're going to get by default it has these many fonts available okay so many fonts to choose from so i'll just leave with the default one and i'll just click on next and you can just click on okay so you'll be getting an interface like this dev c 15 for the first time and i'll just click on file new source file and we'll be getting something like this so here we can type our c or C++ program since it is dev C++ I will just type a C++ program now so let me just begin it's going to be hash include but the size of the font is very small so for changing that you can just go to tools and editor options and here you will be having this fonts you can just change the size to 25 and you'll be getting a live preview of that and I think by this way you can also change the color background foreground styles it has so many styles like yeah photoshop something yeah you can just try it out and you can also change the font here also in case if you are not satisfied with the configuration earlier and let me just click on okay 25 is fine yeah so now you can see the size has increased and it's going to be io stream and in the next line it's going to be using namespace std and it's going to be in main and let me just have see out hello something like this and let me just now save this control yes and let me just save it as first so the extension is c++ and you have c program and c++ this is a c++ program so i'll just give here c++ and for running this you'll be having here execute just give compile and run over here and here you can see i'm getting the output as hello which means that it is working perfectly so i hope you would have found this video useful do check the playlist of my channel i've done a lot of tutorials in c c java python node.js react.js mongodb mysql queries uh, thread operations using spring boot node.js mysql mongodb just check them out subscribe me thanks for watching